It's been announced today that RT, Russia Today, has had its broadcast license revoked in the UK by Ofcom. It is Russia state funded. It has taken the side of Russia in its conflict with Ukraine. I'm sure we can all acknowledge that and regard its output regarding this disgusting invasion by Putin for what it is. Propaganda. We can recognise that for ourselves though, can't we? Do we need Ofcom to tell us to take what Russia Today says about Russia with a pinch of salt? Do we need state censorship of such a channel? Are we not bright enough to see for ourselves when a Russian station tries to tell us a Russian invasion is somehow justified when no invasion of another sovereign state in this day and age is ever justified? When it comes to other issues, RT has produced some very good coverage, often much better than our own, much like other foreign-owned stations like Al Jazeera or France 24 have done. Their coverage on NHS privatisation over the years has been excellent, for example. But if we can't trust them because they propagandise news coming from their own country, what about our own state broadcaster? Surely the BBC would never whitewash the UK invasion of another country as Russia today have done. I don't think anybody after this is going to be able to say of Tony Blair that he's somebody who is driven by the drift of public opinion or focus groups or opinion polls. He took all of those on. He said that they would be able to take Baghdad without a bloodbath and that in the end the Iraqis would be celebrating. And on both of those points he has been proved conclusively right and it would be entirely ungracious, uh, even for his critics, not to acknowledge that tonight he stands as a larger man and a stronger Prime Minister as a result. Andrew Marr there on Tony Blair and the Iraq War. Tony Blair interestingly said once that God would judge him on his decision. I sincerely hope that's true because over a million Iraqis died despite that appalling piece of BBC Newsreel. The fact is all media outlets have their own inherent bias. I'm sure Ofcom came under a lot of pressure to act against RT. We've seen MPs speak out against it, notably Chris Bryant, who did of course go on the show to hawk a book he'd written, but that was okay. This censorship, though, sets a dangerous precedent on who you get to view because the state basically doesn't trust you to be bright enough to discern fact from fiction. Never get your news from just one source. Always draw your own conclusions because all media has a bias one way or another. When the state intervenes in that, though, where does it end?